my Honda XL600V, or as everybody knows it, the Transalp. Built in 1989, and it was not really made as a um, off-road adventure bike, but it was made like an all-purpose, do-it-all bike. You can go to your work in the week, in the weekend, you can pack her up, go up in the mountains for some little trips, but in the end, most people use this now as an all-purpose adventure bike to travel the whole world. When I bought this bike here in Thailand, um, it was running and that was basically all that she was doing. She wasn't maintained, she wasn't kept good, she wasn't changed the oil, nothing. She drove uh, 150,000 kilometers already, so the engine is been through a lot already. But when I got her, she was a wreck. Of course, I changed the oil, the oil filter. The oil was black as hell. I, even after three times changing, the oil still kept coming out full black. So we did five times oil change uh, and got the engine a little bit clean from the inside. Uh, the front brake, the oil pipe to the brake was also full black with oil change and clean everything, we put new brake shoes in it, we changed the oil from the front spring, we cleaned up the brake in the back, of course we did uh, the new tires, new tubes inside, also the exhaust system was not 100% anymore, where was the connection from the two header pipes going into the single one, it was fully rusted off, so I had no choice but to make a good exhaust pipe on it. So we welded the pipes, put uh, a Krokovich imitation pipe from China on it, have much more better airflow and is much more lighter. The original pipe weighs maybe 10 kilo or something, and this weighs one kilo. So we save a lot of weight on that one. Sounds better, drives better, all the way somewhat you don't want to miss out on, make the pipe. without the muffler insert because here in Thailand we don't need shit like that. few modifications I still would like to do. There's no protection guard here, crash bars, so we need to install some. Probably gonna do it uh, homemade style, weld something together. And of course the bash plate. This bike comes with a bash plate but it's made out of plastic. That will not protect anything from damaging the engine if you really hit something hard. So this one needs to go, you need to put here a big fat aluminium bash plate on it, maybe even change the plastic radiator covers, put some metal uh, ones on there, and then she is really ready for off-road riding. This Transalp got the nickname Thai Twin. We were in the Honda shop, the big wing in uh, Hua Hin, and I was looking if I could get some spare parts. And they asked me, what bike you have? What bike you have? It's the Transalp. They didn't understand. The bike was too old for these people to know what is a Transalp. So I showed them the picture and they say, ah, now we know. It's the African twin. But no, it's not the African twin. It's the small little baby from the African twin. It's the Transalp. And because in Thailand, the twins uh, are always a little bit more smaller than the African women. So we call them now the Thai twin 
make official good logo from this, sticker it up. And now she is the Thai twin. To make an uh, adventure bike really adventurous, you need to have some luggage system. This was on already from the GV, but I bought some low quality, more cheaper boxes to go on. So they fit on the rack system, I had to modify it a little bit. Uh, but the nice thing about these boxes, they actually have some LED lights in them. I hooked it up to the blinking light system, so I have extra two red blinking lights just to make it more better visible for the Thai people who are like not so fully safe on the road. These blinking lights are also custom blinking lights. Uh, they had the big orange, yellowish, round ones, so I put on the small ones. I got them from a good friend, Ott, from Holland, Belgium, and this have the whole the light system built in it. Got the braking light, the normal light, and the blinkers, of course, all built into them. And of course, you cannot miss out on a big top box. Top box has 55 liters, it's the medium size. And the side boxes have 23 liter. So that's enough for put all the gear in. And then still you can put some light, small stuff in the top of the box. I of course got my fixed camera mount to shoot when I'm driving. The top box has real nice polstering. It's like rubberish kind of stuff that actually keeps the stuff pretty cool inside. This box don't get hot inside. The side boxes, all the stuff, it's after a whole day drive, it's boiling hot. But this stuff inside, it's perfect. So maybe in the future I'll also upgrade the side boxes and put some bigger aluminium boxes in it with the same lining that has the big box. But that is all still future plans, next year, next year. Because the bike is already in Pai, we already drove from Hua Hin to here. Uh, it was a thousand kilometer ride with a little bit overheating problems. It's most of it. It's fixed now. We came to Pai now. It's from Chiang Mai to Pai, 762 curves in about 150 kilometers. And the first 60, 70 kilometers is just highway. So this 762, it's about a little bit less than 100 kilometers and because we drove it already we're gonna officially tag it on the box here we go